have a doctor's note. These days, what goes on your face seems to be on everyone's mind. You are nuts wearing that mask for a 99%. But a growing body of research shows face masks may help slow the spread of coronavirus. At the University of Illinois, scientists use a device that generates high velocity droplets similar to the breath coming out of someone with COVID-19 to test how various household fabrics perform as masks. They found two layers and three layers of t-shirt fabric are highly effective at blocking droplets when you cough, sneeze, or talk. We don't have to rely on masks being made from a company or a factory from another country. Uh, we all have it at our home. It shows that the masks that you need are accessible. We all have a shirt. We all have a t-shirt. Overseas at the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, researchers tested masks using a mannequin connected to a cough simulating machine. These images show the airflow when someone breathes or coughs without a mask, and this is the airflow with a mask. The research finding masks extremely effective at preventing forward airflow, though for some, air can escape from the back and sides. And some of these masks, the ones that weren't tightly fitting around the mouth, it was a backward jet. And these can actually, um, we have to be really careful when we're not wearing properly fitted masks. Both the Illinois and Edinburgh studies have not yet been published in a medical journal, but add to research already showing masks can work. Like this study, which found mandatory mask wearing in 15 states in Washington, D.C., possibly averted up to 450,000 COVID cases over the course of nearly eight weeks. Experts say one thing is clear. What's your message to folks out there regarding masks? Wear masks, even if they're handmade, they have a significant impact on the potential spread of COVID. Advice from those trying to uncover the science behind the mask. Joe Fryer, NBC News.